Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. It is 5.30 in the morning and I am with Daniel Preston at the airport in London where we've both been staying for a few days as those of you who watch his vlog will know we're on our way back to Limoges but he's lost the car keys I did say do not trust me with these and I was right to say that I feel now You were supposed to be going back before me weren't you? A couple of days before me only you missed your flight and have you lost the car keys? What are we going to do? I, I hear Limoges is very nice this time of year. Let's <laughs> move that. Amory is not going to be happy with me. I just know that already. <laughs> I've got a spare set, but back at the chateau. So, yeah, worst case scenario, I guess we, we call... <gasps> You've been looking for 20 minutes. <laughs> okay. Panic over. Your relationship with Amory is saved. <laughs> How's the packing going? <laughs> great. We're having a great start to the day. Oh, it's too early. The taxi collected us at 3 30. No. Too early. <laughs> I'm gently easing into the day on the flight. I've got tea and I've got a book, which obviously makes me think of La Land because it has hedgehog in the title. And it really couldn't be a more beautiful morning. This is it, hello Limoges. And we have car keys, so nothing can stop us. Wow, what a beautiful morning to land on. The question is, can Dan find the key again? Once seems like a miracle, but twice. Isn't it a stunning day? Ooh. A lot it's, colder than England it's though. freezing compared to London. Yeah, yeah. it's a key situation. Oh, I've still got it, have I? <laughs> oh, why didn't I take it back? <laughs> yeah. yeah? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great. What a noble steam. <laughs> You're really taking one for the team here doing the driving. <laughs> I'm such a trooper. It's mainly because you slept on the flight, but yeah. I've only had two hours. And you're sleep a terrible tonight. driver without when you've had sleep, so I think. I'm an excellent driver. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's move on. It's good to be back in the countryside, isn't it? Very glad to be back. And when we get back to the chateau, Oliver will be there. He arrived late last night. I'm super excited about seeing him. We've just stopped at the boulangerie on our way home. So I think people are actually going to be pleased to see us back. Oh, it is so good to be home. Oh, I think I see my cousin. I think I caught sight of your bestie. Ooh, oh, have I you missed, missed him. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring him a present. What? Oh, no. I'm present enough. Hello, hello. Uh, oh, here she is. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Two of my favourite people in one magnificent okay. workshop. Um, I'm admiring the workshop. It's been, um, I was just working out, it's been... Is it 18 months? It's been way too long. Way too long. Hello, Hello. and look. You are right. Here is Dan the man. How are you? Good to be Yeah, you're looking very smart. I'm walking through the chateau looking at everything that's changed. That has to be said, quite a lot has changed. Well, I can see something that's changed. Yeah. You're half the size you were when I last saw you. <laughs> I know, Charming. it's the... Uh... No, you, you look amazing. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no, it's true. You look amazing, Ollie. Um, thank you. I have been... Um... I've been doing a bit of exercise for months. So Kimmela's got me out there with a personal trainer, so we'll see what happens. In fact, she's got me out there with two personal trainers. <laughs> Did you think one wasn't enough? No, one wasn't enough. Well, well whatever it is, yeah. We'll see You're what looking happens. magnificent. So we've, um, I've, been, I've been wandering around, I've seen the wallpaper. The, the most important thing for me is the coffee machine has been upgraded. 
Oh, I wouldn't even know about that. Is that, is that you, Amory? No, 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 that's not me. Really? I've got another copy machine. Uh, you've you've hidden, hidden away there. another one. I brought that from England, Dave. I brought that one from England. We now don't have a 25-year-old Nespresso machine. We have, like, a six-month-old one. Swanky one. So my life here is complete. So what's happened whilst I was gone, Am? Doing the electrics. Oh, <gasps> you're ducting! You're ducting! I was so excited to see you and Ollie that I didn't even see your ducting. <laughs> do you know what my ducting is? I do know what your ducting is, actually. I do. It's to suck out the um, sawdusty stuff. Wow. That's it, yeah. I like sawdusty stuff. Technical term. And then it puts the sawdusty stuff in here, yeah. and the sawdusty stuff can be used for the chickens. Uh, if it's not treated. If it was if it's untreated if it's wood. wood. See, yeah. I was paying attention, nice. wasn't I? What do you nice. use for the chickens? As in sleeping? Bedding. Oh, yeah, it's bedding. I thought I could say that's a poor diet. Oh, <laughs> look at everything behind you. You've really oh, you've, you've got on in here a lot. I can't it's remember, amazing. I can't remember what was what was here before. And you cleared the grand salon whilst I was gone, yeah, didn't grand you? Salon's cleared. So that's yeah. ready to start. Yeah, that's ready to start. Yeah, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look because I actually haven't seen the grand salon yet. I'm not over there. Well, it's not so grand now. But first, let's see footage of everyone clearing the grand salon out whilst I was away. Coming down. The rain. Header. Look at the header on that. Come, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Look, boys. That's the window frame. That's the actual window. I see a lot of the furniture's made it through to here. Mm. So that's already, and the, the wardrobes arrived fantastic. So I took up all I could wardrobe-wise. Yeah. I couldn't take this is actually a nice idea because um, when those have gone, we can make this into a little proper salon. Now, with this light coming in, it's so warm. Yeah. It is but lovely in here. You see this being like a whole new, like, often used salon. I think that'd be lovely. Yeah. Especially as it's going to be several weeks, if not months, before we get the car salon this back. Is, we should organise it so I can come here and read books for the next two days. Yeah. Awesome. But I'll be brought cups of tea and coffee. But That's how you want us to organise it. Yeah, and in the evening, maybe a liqueur. Should we do shift work, you and me, Amory, yeah. to bring him the different snacks and drinks during the day? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. I can get the penny back on. <laughs> I've got some good news. Oh, what is it? Somebody turned up yesterday. The plumber? No, God, no. Oh. Jesus. I was really excited there. You haven't waited long enough for a plumber to turn up. <laughs> Who have you been waiting for for a long time? Not the chapel restaurant. Yeah? Really? No, he did not. He's coming next week, coming Monday. <gasps> He's, are you serious? He's a really sweet man. He's such a sweet <laughs> man, but no, are you serious? He is... I'm bit, well, he turned up yesterday. He turned up yesterday and... Uh, oh, I can't believe it. Monday. So he's coming Monday to speak to you. To yes. To organise plan of attack. And he said the first thing he's going to be doing is he's going to be sorting out the electrics. And then from then on, because he needs the electrics for his tools and whatnot. Yes, so, of course. Yeah. So, yeah, turned up yesterday, asked, you know, best place to get uh, to get to the chapel with all of his scaffolding. Yes. Yeah. Well, if he turns up again on Monday, it will be a Christmas miracle. There you go. <laughs> Let's see. That? Yeah, how about that? Okay, now I'm going to go and see this empty room. Yeah. The light's really beautiful this morning. Oh, do you know what? It already feels better. It's quite echoey. I know, I was going to say it's a ballroom. It's quite big. It's going to feel quite grand. We have to find a way of getting this out. We'll have to find somewhere to put it. Well, we bought a special machine, didn't we? Yeah. What, what do you mean, pallet lifter? We've got a pallet lifter, which oh, should right. help. But is it, surely if that goes in its size, it'll easily go out the door. That's yeah, right. and it's got no slate, this one, which makes it slightly easier. Had you ever seen the panelling? No, it's, well, obviously online, but no, not as beautiful, isn't it? Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Is this, is this bringing back memories of this room at the beginning when it was empty? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's say, weird, it's like going back like, in time. It's like, wow, this is... It's just missing your digger, isn't it? I remember, I don't know how many years ago it was now, but when we first came in here, there was nothing and no furniture. This is making me realise I do want to go back to a more pared back look. It was really lovely to have the warmth of the curtains and the pelmets when we moved in because we didn't have double glazing but now those two double doors are double glazed 
and then bit by bit I can replace the others. We can have much lighter curtains, no palmets, more light coming the, in. The seating grouping the same. No, I think I'd like to mix everything up and have it a bit more French, small groupings. Oh wow. So it's gonna be a little like enclaves of people. Yeah. Yeah, playing cards and basically <laughs> gossiping. Proper grand salon. I like it. Hello, welcome to La Lande's so, ballroom. This mirror, that mirror, and that mirror, which is literally wood dust. Ah, uh, this is a, this is great. <laughs> no, 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 don't say that. We have to save it. I no, love that mirror. Can we save it? I touched it. Oh, thank goodness. That's, that's is, original. It, yeah. Oh. How do you, is so, there stuff you can inject in it or something? Yeah, but you need to get it down first. And it okay. Is, ropey as hell. Oh, and the glass dropped a little bit when I tried to move it. Okay, so you realise, wow, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's why I didn't want to bang on anything, because that's just held up with plasterball screws. Oh, Do you know that? No, I didn't know. Yeah, there's no, like, yeah. fixing. It's just... Okay. Yeah. It's just, like, health and safety issue, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm thinking a new fireplace, new chimney piece. Right. Something a bit more... A bit more Louis Cairns, because yeah. of the panelling, just to fit in a little more with the panelling. Yeah. Do you need a fireplace? Because it's capped, isn't it? You still need one because it just makes the room look finished. And then we could, even though it's capped, we could get a flue up and put... Oh, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Your, your team flue? Anything that's warm at the moment. <laughs> Don't you warm? Yeah. It's actually not bad at the moment. You feel the heat coming through? No, but I've, I've come from 10 degrees more, so I'm... Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, welcome from Barcelona, Oliver, <laughs> to the wilds of France. I was just, I was watching the temperature gauge on the car go down and down and down and down and down. <laughs> Hello! There's so many exciting people everywhere. Thank you. It feels like the <laughs> olden days. Oh, <laughs> you know, everyone, including you. It is the middle of the day and I've come upstairs to have a little nap because I only had two hours sleep last night and I don't think that's going to be enough to get me through the day. So quick nap and then I'll go down and see everyone. And it's quite lovely with the sun shining through the window. Such a beautiful day here. I've had the most luxurious sleep and I think I'd have slept all day, but Ollie's station intervention. I have. He's brought me a cup of tea much. and chocolates because he said that otherwise I'd be up all night and then sleeping all day again. Well, also, how, how long have, how long has it been since I've actually seen you? Over a year and a half. So we can't, we don't have time for sleeping. We've got to catch up to do. We've got a channel to plan as well. We have got a channel 2022, to 2022, the year of our We're, new channel. It's going to be amazing. This is, this is action now. Camilla has sent Oliver here. She's basically the big boss, isn't she? She's the power behind the throne. <laughs> I like to think that we have a, a mutually respectful relationship where we both make equal decisions. Yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, you do. Audric brought this, I mean, massive box of chocolates. This? From this Brussels. Basically, is the weight that I've lost, and I'm going to put it back on. In, in one, one go. glorious moment. It's, it's worth it. It was worth that. Like twelve months of pain, or however long it was, <laughs> just for this just moment. For this moment. Wait, let's open it. What's it? What's it look like inside? Yeah. Ooh, but there's so many. Well, you go for this half. This half. That here, half. Yeah. And I'll you go have... for this half. Yeah. No, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, we'll have those polished by okay. dinner. Go for the cherry one. Thanks. Mmm. 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 Mm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, you choose. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. This is the tidiest workshop I've ever seen. <laughs> Let's have a look. Like I know. Operating He's theater. been so excited about this for so long. Is it done? Amber, is it done? <gasps> look, it's finally finished. For people who like organisation, <laughs> I don't even know what these are, but I just like the fact they're organised. Everything's organised. Absolutely everything is organised. You don't need to step over any kind of wiring. Or this floor. No, I didn't know there was floor in this room. <laughs> Not a bad floor. No, everything's where it should be. And Dan was, Dan was, was laughing instead of because he moved all the mirrors. Yeah. So oh, you did. Yeah. I'm going to go and have a look. The uh, the one on the mantelpiece was interesting. So we made a box and we all managed to lower it down. But anyway, I put some some timber underneath the, t the pair yes. on the staircase and I thought no so I planed it up and then as I was playing up and doing a little bit of a router detail around it Dan was just laughing his head off because 
He said, you know where everything is? It's just straight away from there and there and there. Yeah, this, this to me, like seeing this makes me realize that stuff's about to happen. This is a man who means business. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, that is a man who means business. Great things are going to happen on this plywood. Well, actually, yeah, I'm making, the, um, making this like, well, the door to block off the con salon from yeah. the rest of the house because of the dust and all that. Yes, the, uh, yes. Stuff. So I'm just about to I'm making the... Uh, my mother will be delighted. We've got a special door to block everything. Should we go, should we go and have a look? Yeah, let's definitely go and have a look. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. See you guys later. The mirror is it gone? Oh, panelling has moved into different, new, exciting locations. There's a panel against this wall. <laughs> that wall's done. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not sure it's brilliantly secured at the moment, but I like, I like, the, I like the fact it's there. You like the look? And there was obviously a mirror there, which was... No, my favourite mirror, yes, so that one's gone. Yeah. And it's got nice. These huge mirrors that were on these walls have gone. They've been busy. Amory is so tidy. How are we related? I, w I want to be like my cousin. I want to grow up to be like my cousin. As all the walls are coming off, are you going to be thinking about lighting? Is that the yeah. opportunity? Yeah, we're going to totally redo the lighting as and well. Do you know what you're going to do? Not entirely. Not yet. That's something I'm going to work through with Amory and Philip when Philip's back. It should be great if you were there too. It'd be lovely to have a good meeting about that. I mean, I don't really know much about lighting, but I'm more than happy to. Uh, you know give about it a you know about feeling good in a nice room. Yeah, a bit of drama. Yeah, and this is where Amory has put the mirrors. Dan helped him put them here, and it looks as though they were made for the place now. Yes, admittedly, we've got to redecorate. That's the state behind the radiator. And then another mirror there. They look so beautiful. It's been making me want to redecorate all of the stairs around them. I am really happy. So they're going to live here permanently and the Grand Salon will have all new mirrors and new furniture. Well, we're all going out. And I'm scared. <laughs> Ollie's terrified because of the fog. Well, it's not just the fog, but I won't mention what else I'm scared of. What else are you scared of, Oliver? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. I feel very comfortable. <laughs> With my driving? No, no, I'm not talking about your driving. I'm being, I'm being very comfortable and secure. He's talking about my driving. <laughs> Uh, I'm just focusing on the road because it's a bit foggy, but we are going out for a very, very important night out. The local bar in our village closed many years ago. There isn't a single shop in our village, not one. And all of the locals have got together to reopen it and turn it into a community centre where artisans can sell their product. But I wasn't expecting this weather. It was such a beautiful day today. It's a little bit Blair Witch. Just a little bit. Yeah. I went no, down no. a no through way. Oh, no. Stop, stop, actually. That's actually a significant step you're about to drive down. Okay, let's go forward. Yeah. Let's just go forward. No one trusts my reversing. I just don't know if that's going to cause a problem. If it was a Land Rover, you'd be fine, but I'm just not sure. Let's just not go down the significant step backwards. <laughs> Okay, you keep an eye on the step. Do you remember that time in Spain we drove up a set of steps? We went down the set of steps, yeah, Oliver. That's it. And then back okay, up it. Good. It's a very small river. A river? A metre wide. I don't want to hit the river. Winding quite a lot. Uh, go go uh, straight. Straight. Is that but, straight? Go a little bit to the left. And what by left, I mean if you're facing this way. Go a bit to the left. A bit to the left. Good. You're not going to hit them. You're way away. Oh, I see the significant step and the river. Yeah. We don't know where we're going. Right now, go to the left a bit now. I still towards you or the other way. So when I'm saying left, I'm meaning this way. The other way. The okay. other way. So go away from me. Yeah. Go away from me. Mm -hmm. Go away from me quickly to the ravine. A ravine. <laughs> it's a treacherous driving experience. <laughs> Right, straight now, straight. Oh my goodness. I kind of think I'm making this worse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Away from me. Away from Oliver. <laughs> That's straight. <laughs> I don't want to go down the ravine. <laughs> okay, quick, just, just put on a little bit of speed, I think. I think speed? Do you think now. speed is what we need right yeah. now? I'm kind of starting to wish I had got my glasses. Oh, we're past the ravine. Yeah. Am I on a road now? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to reverse back up that way and then we'll be going the way we want it to be. This isn't a road. Oh. I can't see anything. Want me to guide you out? 
I'm worried about ravines on all sides. There's a massive ravine here. Stop. <laughs> I hope they didn't like their garden. I feel really bad about their garden. So. It was just a lawn, Oliver. I know, but it's, it's kind of manicured in an odd way now. Right. Okay, it's actually see? very difficult to find the only bar in the village. Okay, there's a car following us. Okay. We don't know where we're going. Maybe they think we're going to the party. There's a lights up there. There's definitely lights up there. Uh, I didn't see any. Yeah, there are lights up there. Let's just follow people That's wearing masks. This road. Okay. Aha, look. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, yes. We have found the right place and there's lots of lovely ideas. For example, everyone in the community gets to vote on what sort of style of cafe they would like. So there's lots of photos of totally different interiors and we're all leaving our votes. And I think we prefer the dark, cozy, intimate ones. And these are the sorts of different services they'll have. For example, the internet if anyone needs it, a place to collect parcels, a little tourist office, a grocers, and even the ability to rent electric bikes. It was the launch of the association to try and make the bar live again. Not necessarily as a bar, but as a community center because there's nothing in this, in this village. I think it's a fantastic idea. So I've joined up to become a member of the association and then yeah, try and get some funding and see this dream come become a reality in Kozong, which has had absolutely no shop for, well, years before I arrived, and I've been here 16 years, so... It's so nice to see some life, so it's a place where people can come together. Yes, it would be yeah. wonderful for the village. It's really important to have that. And there was a big turnout there, so you see just how many people want it. I didn't know actually anyone lived in Crossall. Whenever, whenever I've been through, I haven't seen anyone. So yeah, big surprise. It was, it was exciting. Oh, here we go. The fog's trying to foil us again. Well, look, this is this is how light it is. Now, oh, I think, Ollie, I can vaguely see you in the darkness. I think we should be right, taking a light. The most wild Let's just out. walk towards the I'm light. <laughs> Leslie, thank you so much. This looks amazing. What are we having? Green beans, yams, mm, yams. Wow. And mystery casserole. Mystery casserole. What a night to be alive. Without me, there wasn't any garlic bread. So, <gasps> thank goodness you're here. <laughs> I know. I know. It's really hard. It's so so good to be home, and I'm really happy Oliver's here. And tomorrow, Michael, Petherick, Davy, and Philip arrive. So it's good times at Laland. Good night, everyone. A huge thank you to all of our patrons who make this vlog possible, and the Dauphins and Dauphines of Laland: Yadeland, Ether, Alice, Alan, Dan, Banda, Wailing, Banshee, Brandon, and John, Michael, Cecilia, Begum, Denise, Behrens, Lauren, Bell, Danel, Benakovich, Jill, Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalicani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Matthew Chup, Gregory Clear, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Jimmy Connolly, Zoe Dork, Sylvia Dam, Jim Demersman, and Richard Patton, North, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jason Doobie, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Kevin Fossum, Abigail Grant, Fifi. Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Camilla Herrera, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hubler, Sandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Film Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, David and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Grant and Erin McLoon, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Nori, Maureen Palmer, Ellen Person, Wendy Piatic, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, Colette Retif, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Sabrina Soati, Nanette Solverson, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stapura, Sabrina Surratt, and The Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Viest, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cockapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo. And thanks to all of you.